Hey, Chris Holden back here with um, another uh, UDK material basics uh, covering glowing with a missive. Now here we see a simple sphere with a glowing material on it. And what the uh, now the glowing doesn't cause this light that's uh, cast here on the wall. That's actually a spotlight, as you can see there. Um, but this, it adds a basic corona or glow around whatever object it's set to be. Um, let me just drag that. It's a very simple concept. With the material, um, for this I'm just plugging a parameter right into the emissive. You can use a constant if you want, but for this I'm using a parameter so that uh, it can be used for material instances. Um, and the properties here, all these are set to 1, so that would gl have no lighting or glow, but not have the effect of the corona around it. What you have to do is increase this number beyond 1. So I set that uh, blue to 10, and you can see a light blue corona around it. Um, if I increase this to 100, it's a much stronger glow, and of course you gotta test this in game. Don't really trust this uh, preview here, but um, if I set them all up to ten, we get a nice hot white glowing sphere. Now let's do some adjustments here. Let's just jack it up to a hundred, one hundred, one hundred, and you see this just makes it so much more brighter. And again, you gotta see it in game to see how much more it glows. And there is a a bit of a diminishing return, so. Let's uh, check this out on another example. This is it where I take a, de a decal or any sort of texture sample and multiply it times a constant. Now this, uh, the red is set to 200 so that it really has a strong red glow. If I set that back down to 1, you'll see much more default here. Um, let's see, 10, 50, 50 is a nice little glow. 100 again, takes it back where we were. Uh, put in 100 green, makes it this nice bright yellow color. Um, let's turn that down and get a glowing green. 100 in the blue, and that makes this nice glowing sort of aqua color. Looks pretty cool. Again, very, very simple, but very effective. I mean, you get this nice glow out of anything. You can use, uh, oh, one thing real quick. Uh, since these are static meshes, be sure if it's, if it's only an emissive, uh, for optimization's sake, you can disable any sort of uh, lighting is being cast on the object here in the uh, properties and there's a lighting look for accepting dynamic lights and accepting lights and you, you just want to make sure to look through all these things uh, you might want to disable casting shadows or not it just depends on what you're doing but you want to do these optimizations and they'll, they'll help you out a lot but anyway that's the basics so hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching